Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. So hopefully you guys saw my blood test video from a few weeks ago. I shared with you my results after having been vegan for eight plus years. I'll link to this video down in the show notes and I'll make a card for it. So click over to see the entirety of my blood test results. Both my doctors said they're wonderful results, particularly for someone my age, 51. But um, as I pointed out, and some of you guys noticed as well, is that um, my LDL, my bad cholesterol, has risen over my past few blood tests. And that's what we're going to focus on on this video, as the video title implies here. And um, I'll explain, I think, why it has risen over the past few blood tests. I'll share with you that, my insight or speculation about that at the end. But more importantly, I'm going to show you that a vegan diet hasn't wrecked my health, as some anti-vegans have been claiming. I don't need to go back and eat animal products. I'm not going down some destructive, unhealthy path or anything like that. I dug up some blood tests of, from mine, my oldest ones I could find, from 20 years ago. So let's compare some of those markers of cholesterol from 20 years ago versus today. And to refresh our memories, my LDL, my bad cholesterol, as measured in early December, was 129, above the optimal range, which is no more than 100. I thought that was a little bit high. Maybe there was an error, right? Some weird food. So I went back in early January, and it dropped a little bit to 123, but still above where I wanted to be. So here's this old blood test I found of mine from 1999. That's about 20 years ago, older than some of you guys watching this video right now. Anyway, let's take a look at these markers from then. My bad cholesterol, my LDL, 141. Remember, mine was in the 120s in recent months. 141, so my LDL has improved considerably since going on a vegan diet. And 20 years ago, my triglycerides were pretty high too, 193. Compare that with now, 107. And next, let's have a look at my HDL, my good cholesterol, which my doctor circled here for being too low, 38. Compare that with my most recent blood tests. They're usually in the mid to upper 50s, which is a nice, strong HDL. So once again, my markers have improved on a vegan diet. And speaking of improvement, my blood urea and nitrogen and my fasting glucose levels have both improved as well on a vegan diet. So I think it's plainly obvious that my markers have actually improved since I've been vegan. Even though I didn't have the greatest LDL numbers this last blood test, they're still much better. All my cholesterol, all my lipid panel markers are much better now than when I was not a vegan 20 years ago. So shut up, anti-vegan. So, so anyway, that's all in the past, both the very distant 20 year past and the more recent past. So the question now is for me, what can I do what would I consider to be a good LDL level for me? And I make that distinction because you might not realize that there's genetic variation in our biological markers. Some people have just higher LDL, some have higher triglycerides. So let's take a look what was a really good reading for me. This is back in 2013 when I was eating super cleanly. I almost had an irrational fear of oils and processed foods. And you can see my cholesterol wasn't like super low, it's still good here, 166, but my LDL is 86. That's just a tad high for what Dr. Esselstyn, you know, a renowned heart surgeon, recommends. So already you can tell I have a, a slight genetic predisposition for higher LDL, even when I'm eating super cleanly. So yeah, I like to get closer to those 2013 numbers, particularly for LDL. I want to get it under 90, for sure under 100. And a lot of you guys left comments giving me um, direction as to what I should do. And the one I chuckled at the most is people just yelling at me almost to like back off all that vegan junk food that I'm eating. It's like, what are you getting at? What fantasy do you have of how we eat? I mean, we eat whole food plants. I mean, this is what we eat day in and day out. I just made a minestrone soup out of Angie's book here. Keep it car, baby. It's whole food plants. No oil. This is how we eat. Yeah, sure, once in a while you'll see us go out to a vegan restaurant or get some vegan ice cream, but that's super rare. I mean, keep it car baby style food is how we eat, what, like 97% of the time, day in and day out. So, um, so it's not really junk food, I think, that's making my LDL go up. Uh, what I did um, do is just really do some searching and try to figure out what food 
it, it might be causing this or what foods might be causing this. In the summertime, I'm eating lots of fruit, particularly at night. I'm eating cherries, my favorite food, as you know, blueberries. Once those go out of season, at nighttime, I've been eating this granola cereal. And once I did a little more research on its ingredients, I noticed, you know, there's oil in it. So this is a constant source of oil pretty much every evening, you know, in non-summer months. So I'm going to remove this from my diet. I still have a little bit more left. I buy it in bulk at the market. So once I finish it, I'm sure I'm going to safely finish it. And then I'm not going to purchase that anymore. Just completely remove it. You know, have some saturated fat. I'm going to get that out of my diet. And secondly, just to be a little extra super safe, I noticed that my pumpkin seeds have a bit of saturated fat too. It's not a processed food. It's not cooked in oil. They're raw pumpkin seeds. But I'm not going to eliminate them like I'm the granola cereal, but I'm going to just eat a little bit less of them. Just try to see if that helps that as well and get my blood tested again in like say two, three months and see if my LDL levels have come down some. So I'm basically going to do an experiment on myself so I'll let you know how that goes so anyway leave your questions and comments down below do you have some other ideas based on what I actually eat how I can improve my LDL don't make up some nonsense how I'm eating vegan junk food all the time I'll just delete it because it's a just a fat out lie anyway leave your comments down below um, share this video hit like and until next time guys remember it doesn't suck being vegan and before we go I'd like to give some shout outs to our latest supporters on patreon thanks so much to Elizabeth Cynthia, Stefan, and Jesse Thick Vegan, and Juan. Your contributions really help Angie and I to produce content here on the reg. And if you're new, come check out our Patreon page. We have lots of cool rewards for you. Thanks so much, guys. Change.